Welcome back to another video, guys. I hope everybody's having a great day. In today's video, we're going to be talking about the brand new 2020 Tesla Model 3 Performance. And honestly, why I think it is one of the best new cars you can buy today. Now, before we begin, I am not financially compensated for saying anything in this video. Tesla is not paying me. I'm not getting paid by anyone to say what I think. That'd be cool, but that's just not happening. These are just my opinions, and I already know it is going to spark a lot of controversy, but I'm prepared. And to begin, I want to say, if you are watching this video to say something awful in the comments because you disagree with something in the title, at least be mature about it and hear me out. If anybody has any opposing views, I urge you to comment your thoughts respectfully. I don't need any more negativity in the comments. It's just immature. It's not doing anyone any favors. Now let's go ahead and jump into this video. I'm going to be giving you five reasons as to why I believe the brand new 2020 Tesla Model 3 Performance is the best new car on sale today. And one other quick thing, this is not a review video. This is literally my take on the Tesla Model 3 Performance after owning it for about a week. And there are some videos on my channel about the negative side of owning this car, but honestly, the good outweighs the bad. Let me explain. The first thing I want to talk about here is value. Now when I mean value, I mean everything packed into this car for the price. Now the price of this car starts at $56,990 for the performance variant with pearl white paint and an all black interior, which really isn't that bad. And if you think that actually is expensive, let me go ahead and explain all of the features that you get with this car. There's a lot of them, so I'm just going to start rattling them off. Autopilot, a 3.2 second 0 to 60 time, a full glass roof, 20 inch performance wheels, a 15 inch touchscreen that you can literally watch movies on. You can watch Hulu, Netflix, Twitch, YouTube. In addition to that, you get a full arcade. And if that wasn't enough, you get a karaoke machine. I'm still not even done yet. You get 310 miles of range, which honestly is one of the best ranges you can get from an electric car today. In addition to that, safety. This car is literally built for safety. You get a five star crash safety rating, literally on everything. On the driver, passenger, front seat, rear seat, rollover, everything tested from the NHTSA, is five stars. Then of course, you have autopilot that comes standard. Basic autopilot, of course, but still, you get radar cruise control and you get auto steer, which basically means the car can keep itself in the lane and it can accelerate according to what's in front of you. And this all comes standard for the price of $56,990. When you really think about everything that you get in this package, you almost can't afford not to buy one because of course you don't have to pay for gas, oil, maintenance, anything like that. You're really in warranty for any major thing up to 120,000 miles or eight years, whichever comes first. And in addition to that, I wanna talk about performance. Now, most of you know this car can do 3.2 seconds to 60, which is just absolutely crazy in itself. And it's actually been tested lower all the way down to 2.9 seconds by Brooks from Drag Times. One of my favorite things about the performance in this car is just the fact that other automakers are screwed. They cannot get the level of acceleration at this price point. They just can't. Look at the Porsche Taycan. 2.6 seconds 0 to 60. Yeah, that's fantastic for $180,000. Look at BMW. Look at their M5 competition. 3.3 seconds 0 to 60 for literally over double the price of the Tesla Model 3 Performance. And I think one of the best things about the Tesla Model 3 Performance is it, it literally costs a fraction of the price of other cars that are in its performance category, i.e. 0 to 60 handling. This thing beat a Ferrari 488 around the Mazda Raceway Laguna Seca, and it is almost neck and neck in the quarter mile, with the Ferrari beating it by just a fraction of a second. Now, to compare this car to a Ferrari 488, a $300,000 plus dollar car is just insane. This is an electric car meant for families, and this car is able to humiliate cars that are way out of its price point. Like, I'm talking the McLaren 570S, slower than this car. The Ferrari 458 Italia, slower than this car. Which means the best part about this is you don't have to go out and spend 200 plus thousand dollars on a car to get this level of acceleration. Oh, that guy over there with the McLaren 570S is talking crap on your car? Go spend $56,000 and buy a Tesla Model 3 Performance and go kick his ass at a stoplight. This car renders all other 0 to 60 times useless because of the price point alone. And in addition to that, the instantaneous throttle response is just something that you have to experience for yourself. And let me tell you this, I used to be a Tesla hater. I, I despised Tesla for what they were. And then I drove one and I, I was immediately changed. I was like, holy shoot, this is one of the quickest cars I've ever driven. 
and it was only the 90D. And there's no way anyone is ever going to make an engine that is capable of doing this level of acceleration instantaneously. Now that we have the performance aspect out of the way, let's go ahead and talk about the technology. And oh boy, there's a lot of tech packed into this car. I'm gonna go ahead and start by talking about the Tesla Tari and the Tesla Theater. Now, I'm gonna to briefly touch on this because I did a full review and I, I showed everything about those features, but Tesla Tari is basically an, kind of an arcade style thing in the infotainment system. And you can actually play games on it, real games. Not just boring games, I'm talking about like Beach Buggy Racing 2, you can play Backgammon, you can play Cuphead. The entire game of Cuphead is on this car. You can hook up a Nintendo Switch to this car and play it while you're at a supercharger. And another thing, Tesla Theater. You can literally watch movies on the screen of this car in pretty darn high quality picture too. And another thing, the surround sound system in this car is just phenomenal. The low end is absolutely crazy and it is one of the best sound systems I've ever heard in any car. And that leads me to one of the most important aspects of this car, over the air software updates, which is literally a revolution in the automotive industry. This car can get better over time. This car can literally get features that the newer cars have so you don't have to go out and buy a newer car. If you want extra performance, you get a software update. We are living in a time where we no longer have to spend a ton of money to get more power out of our cars. We can put our cars in the garage, hooked up to Wi-Fi, wake up the next morning and have a quicker zero to 60 time. Not to mention the new Model 3s are equipped with Autopilot 3 hardware, which basically means we can get software updates that make the Autopilot, the full self-driving system, better. It will eventually be able to fully drive itself and that is absolutely ridiculous and I love it and it's crazy to think about. I don't have to go out and buy a brand new car whenever full self-driving is released. I can get it on this one. And I love that. I love that I don't have to go buy a brand new Tesla every year in order to get new features. I can just have it in my garage and get an update. Tesla has basically revolutionized the automotive industry and the way it works, all because of these over-the-air software updates. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the future. This really is. Teslas are the future, electric cars are the future, technology-packed vehicles are the future, and boy, it's exciting. Now, I know a lot of the uh, traditionalists are going to say, oh, these Teslas are electric, they're such garbage, everything, is, everything about them is just such a piece of crap. Okay, right. Please, please, come up with a good reason as to why these cars are just such trash. Like, it, do explain to me. Like, what are you going to say? Oh, the panel gaps, the panel fitment issues, the build quality issues, the software issues. That doesn't make the car a piece of crap. At all. It, it just makes it, you know, need a little bit of work, which Tesla, I do believe, like I said in my other videos, I think they're going to actually be able to fix it. I think they're going to get their crap together. But the cars aren't crap. The company and the customer service is crap, okay? Now, I, I do still highly recommend buying a Tesla. I really do. And if you use my referral code, you'll be able to get 1,000 free miles of supercharging. And the best part is, now is the time to buy. Because quarter four of 2019 is finally over with, which means Tesla sales are going to go a lot smoother. The customer service is going to get way better because, trust me, after the end of the quarter, service tends to smooth out and it gets way better and all the issues will resolve but i do think if tesla just focuses a little more on quality control and customer service they will be able to be one of the better automotive brands and let's be honest they are a relatively new company and they're a software company that makes cars and honestly these cars are starting to embarrass most other cars in the automotive industry tesla like i said before is revolutionizing the entire automotive industry with the over the air updates uh, and honestly they are taking over the electric car market with range, performance, features, self-driving, everything. Which is why I, I think Tesla is going to be king of the hill someday. Uh, they're not right now, uh, for many reasons, um, you know, customer service, quality control, other things. But honestly, they are a relatively new company and I think they're going to be able to be at the top of the food chain at some point because they're pushing out these crazy electric cars that are just embarrassing the rest of the automotive industry. And I love it. And a lot of other people do too. And like it or not, Tesla is the way of the future. And I'm pretty excited to see what 2020 holds. 
And just like that, this video is over. I really hope you guys enjoyed it. And if you guys have any questions, any at all, please feel free to comment them down in the comment section down below. And I will also take suggestions on topics for future videos. And let me know what you guys think about the brand new 2020 Tesla Model 3 performance. And if you guys think it is the best brand new car. That is all for today's video, guys. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Thank you for watching. Peace.